Hey there friends and enemies, Joe here again and today I want to talk about the legendary weapons that you need for ARC 3.0, ones that you should be farming for if you haven't already, searching through your vault for old web rolls that you might think could come back or are excited to try out with ARC 3.0 next season, we know it's coming and I am very very excited. So. Some of these weapons are still available. You're going to want to farm for these and try to get good rolls this season. So that way next season you're not already behind the eight ball. So first and foremost, Forgiveness. This is one that I've really enjoyed using. Sidearm from Trials. If you don't have one, go get it. You don't necessarily need an adept version. Getting the base version is good enough and will come with some pretty solid rolls. If you're a fan of sidearms, I love this. I think it's going to be my go-to next season. However, I know not a lot of people are sidearm gamers, so that's just a personal preference for me personally. Wolf Tone Draw. I like this a lot. I think this one is going to be very good, especially if we get some more bow mods. We didn't have any this season for solar, but I assume we're going to get some next season as far as champions and all that kind of good stuff. So this is one to keep an eye on, and if you get a good roll, definitely store it away and search through your through your vault for it because this is a weapon that i'm probably going to use a ton next season come to pass now sweet sorrow and come to pass are both craftable weapons so pick your poison if you like the fast firing sweet sorrow that's fine but make sure you level one of them up i'm going to level my come to pass up before next season hits so i can get my enhanced perks and that'll make it really easy to have the god roll that i want for arc 3.0 and that's the benefit of some of these weapons now that we do have craftings for example the forbearance this if you don't have one is very good wave frame grenade launcher wave frames uh, i think are still very very viable in pve and so we, having one of these for arc 3.0 would be very nice having a crafted one would be even better in my opinion the cantata i'm not a hand cannon person necessarily but this is the one i would choose over uh some of the other arc hand cannons as far as legendaries go again depending on the mods and what weapons you want to use for champions and all that kind of stuff we'll have to wait and see now this is one i the wise and rebuke this is out this season with the iron banner so next time iron banner comes around i absolutely think you should farm for these whether it's for pve role pvp role because I think these are going to be very good. And if you want an Arc Fusion, this is probably going to be your best bet for the current availability. Like, there's not a lot of, there's not a main ingredient that's readily, readily available. So if you don't have a Arc Fusion, this is probably your, your safest bet. Dead Weight. This is one that's going to be interesting because the shotgun, the pellet shotguns are getting a buff neck. Uh, midway through this season and then add that to arc 3.0 you can get something like trench bearer on this weapon potentially it could be good we'll have to wait and see how the uh buff to pellets does shake out in pve it might not mean a whole lot it might be very very good but if the buff is not enough then this is still probably going to sit in the vault overall i'm not a fan of it right now but you may want to keep a good roll just in case for next season now we're getting into my two favorite weapons for next season that I'm most excited about. Nezrax with Whisper. Craftable, good rolls, arc. It's going to be, this is going to be a top tier weapon next season. I would put my bank on it right now. I think Glaives are going to be very, very good. I think they're even underrated a bit at this point in time. So definitely keep an eye on this. Craft this. Make sure you have a good one in your vault. Whatever you want to do if you're not a fan of crafting, Make sure you have a good Nazarex Whisper, however you get one. And Stochastic Variable. This is a weapon I've used in the past and is going to be the arc version of your funnel web or something, a callus mini tool, something like that. This is going to be your go-to submachine gun. I have Feeding Frenzy and Dragonfly on mine and I feel like this is going to absolutely pop next season and I'm very excited to try out. I know a lot of people are going to run something like Risk Runner, the exotic, but not having a way to use an exotic slot on that so I can run something like this and use a different exotic will be very, very nice. Moving on to the heavy slot, hot hand. This is probably the best of all the rocket launchers that you get, especially for arc. So you want this, but it is a nightfall reward. So if you're not able to farm nightfalls, you can still get the heretic 
and the sleepless from either the moon or the dreaming city you can also get the, the sleepless through dreaming city engrams in the helm so make sure you do that farm for a good roll if you want to you're gonna probably get a bunch of those umbra engrams so definitely try to get a good sleepless if you don't have a great hot head or if you don't want to farm for a heretic now you've also got something like the tarnation grenade launchers are not in the best state right now i know they were broken in the past but it's been a while since we've really seen the rise of grenade launchers however this one is craftable you can get the god roll that you want and if you do this could be viable in the future although the problem with tarnation and grenade launchers right now is there's two types of weapons that just outshine grenade launchers and even rocket launchers at this point and those are linear fusion rifles obviously storm tracer the best dps weapon in the game right now probably going to get nerfed at some point so you want to farm for a good roll for that however be aware that there's a very good chance that it'll get toned down in the future and then you've got uh tarantula if the storm tracer gets nerfed in the ground which i don't see that happening but if you need a backup option the tarantula is a very good option as well um you can get rolls for ad clear you can get rolls for boss damage all that kind of good stuff and then the second type of heavy weapon that outshines the others right now is swords now the two best arc swords right now are going to be bequest and half troops half troops you can get from the 30th anniversary update in the dungeon there uh or farming for the 30th anniversary update so that's a weapon that's still available it's pretty good definitely keep an eye for that and then beat quest is interesting because this one i think could finally have a chance to shine it is a solid weapon and i believe it's still available but i'm not exactly sure i haven't had one in a long time drop so you may have to farm some old activities for some of these weapons but uh, like, I don't think this one is still available, unfortunately. However, overall, if you're farming right now, your best bets are going to be Storm Chaser. That is one you can get easily. Try to get maybe a good backup roll for one of these two. And then craft a Tarnation and go after your half truths. That's going to be the easiest hot head. If you have a, a team to run, Nightfalls as well will be really good. Overall, the ones that I am most excited about, Nezrax Whisper, Wolf, Wolf Tone Draw, Forgiveness, as well as Hothead and Storm Chaser. I think all of those are going to be absolutely insane next season. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. What weapons are you most excited about using with Arc 3.0? I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Jopa. I'll have plenty of Arc 3.0 content once it drops and leading up to next season in Destiny 2. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't. My name is Joe Pratt, and I'll catch you all later.